Hello everyone, I'm Em. Welcome back to Tech Block. Today we're going to be unboxing the Razer Nari Ultimate headset you saw a second ago. Uh, I took it out of its other box, but yeah, here it is. Very excited for this headset. Uh, I currently have the Razer uh, Thresher Ultimate for the Xbox One, but I've skinned it white. So this used to be like green right here, but now they're white. Uh, so. You know, it's more like color neutral, I guess. Had these for, I think, half a year now. They've been pretty good. They are made for the Xbox One. They're not made for PC, though. Uh, so there's no support for Razer Synapse, no support for Razer Chroma, no RGB. Very big problem. Uh, in terms of the actual range and stuff of these, uh, it's not the best, not the best wireless range. Uh, if I go, like, in the other room, a lot of the time they'll just disconnect. Uh, they are very loud for wireless headphones. The battery life is really good, in my opinion. Uh, there's a microphone. I never use it. Uh, it has like controls and stuff. It charges via micro USB, which I'm not really a big fan of. I wish it was like type C or some kind of like wireless charging pad that you just dock it onto and it charges by itself. But yeah, that's my current pair of headphones right there. I've made a review about them. You can go check it out by pressing the card right there. Uh, but they're very expensive for what they are really. I wouldn't say they're worth the price, especially for like a PC. I think there are much better options out there in terms of wireless headphones. Uh, than these guys. But this, I think, is going to be a whole different story. This has a Razer's Hypersense technology, which uh, I've watched reviews about this, I've watched videos about this headset, I think Linus recently uh, reviewed it, and I'm genuinely excited to see how this feels like. Um, you know, it's like superior wireless immersion. I bet it will be immersive, but uh, I've got Battlefield 5 on my PC now, gonna play that. Battlefield 5, gonna be pretty interesting with this, and what I'm, I guess, most excited for is music as I listen to tons of music all the time. If you want to go follow me on Spotify, uh, there's a link down below in the description. You can go see what songs I'm listening to and stuff, if you want to. Uh, but I listen to music like all day long. So this, this is gonna be cool. All right, so uh, there's a little thing you have to cut here. Now, I tried to do this without a knife. Oh, it worked this time. Wow, cool. Right, let's open this guy up. I'm excited for this headset. I'm really hoping it's gonna be a whole lot better than this pair of headphones here. And uh, I feel like it will be. I feel like the Razer Hypersense stuff, like, you know, you feeling the sound, oh man. Now these headphones here are already like, you know, pretty massive, but this, this is even bigger. <laughs> right, so full gamers, by gamers, the usual stuff for Razer. Lovely packaging here, nice and soft, a bit of foam up here, to, you know, to keep everything in place. Right, let's take this bit out, throw that away. Right, what kind of charging cable do we get with this one? We get a micro USB cable with this headset. I'm um, guessing this is like probably one or two meters long. There's also a 3.5 millimeter like uh, audio cable. Okay, interesting. I didn't think I'd see that, but uh, I think that's pretty much it. You do also probably get some Razer stickers uh, in this little manual, which we'll open up in just a moment. Uh, that's pretty much the entirety of everything. All right, so here are the headphones. Uh, I like them. They they feel much higher quality than my previous pair and, and they're cheaper than my previous pair of headphones and they're probably better. It's just a win-win right here. But um, the build quality feels nice. It has like a gunmetal finish all along the actual frame of, of the headset. Uh, much less plastic being used as with, you know, my previous one. This is like, I'm guessing aluminium or something. Feels good. Uh, it's pretty light, I guess, for, you know, the size of the headset. In fact, let's see. I think they're roughly the exact same size. Let me get a scale out, actually. I'm gonna weigh these headsets. All right, let's find out how much these headphones weigh. First up, the Razer Thresher Ultimate. Yes, for Xbox One. Right, we have 413.5 grams. Very cool. Now, next up, the Razer Nari Ultimate. Also a wireless headset, 435. What was the previous one? 413.5, I see. All right, so they're a little bit heavier than my previous pair of headphones. Let's put them on. I, I want to see how ridiculous I look. They're freaking massive also. Ooh! Now, these do have Razer's like cooling gel uh, cushions. And let me tell you, they're cool. They're very different to the ones on my previous headset. I like these more. They're cooling my head right now. I, I like them. They feel different as well. They look different. They feel different. I really like these. They feel very comfortable. They go nicely over like my whole ear. I bet these look ridiculous though. Like look at the size of these things. But damn, in terms of comfort, these are good. Probably the best Razer headphones I've ever worn in my life. This is probably their most comfortable headphones 
ever. The headset itself, it is like 435 uh, grams, I think, in weight, but you really don't feel it. Like, it feels pretty light. Now, oh, <laughs> if you shake your head, uh, the headphones do tend to, you know, move around if, if you start shaking your head about, but, uh, you know, if you stay in place, it's all good. Now, bear in mind that I'm also wearing glasses, and even though I'm wearing glasses, these still feel very comfortable. Like, they don't squish my glasses against, like, you know, my skull or anything. It's all good. It's all good. Very comfortable. I love the fact that these, you know, are cooling my skull. Now, taking a look at the bottom of the headset, this is where they've really improved over the previous model here, I guess. Taking a look at the controls on these headphones, on the left ear cup, we have a microphone mute button right here. There's also a game chat balance, a little like scroll wheel right here as well. So just like your game chat volume. Then we also have the power on button right here and the little indicator LED there. Uh, and fortunately, a micro USB connection to charge the thing. I wish this was Type-C. We have a, an actual audio jack, that's cool. Uh, we have volume up and volume down on the right ear cup here as well. Now this is the 2.4 gigahertz wireless... Oh, damn it, I just dropped the thing. Now this here is the 2.4 gigahertz wireless receiver for the headset right here. So we're gonna plug this into the PC and hopefully the headset works. <laughs> there we go. All right, so apparently I need to update Synapse again. What's new? Razer Nari Ultimate. Finally, I can control my headset via Razer Synapse, as in the past, that wasn't possible. But now it is, that's good. Uh, apparently PC needs restarting. I'm gonna try avoid doing that. Uh, let's turn these guys on, as I think, you know, it's all connected. Should all be good. So let's hold the power button there, because that's how I turned on my previous pair of headphones. Bada bing, bada boom. Right, they're on. There's a green LED, right, that's currently on. I wonder if these are set to like, spectrum cycle or just green now these are rgb very important feature uh, especially in 2019 there is also a microphone on the uh, on the left ear cup that can come out uh, it looks like a decent mic uh, i doubt it's gonna sound decent though judging from previous razor microphones i think they could do a much better job with their like microphone quality but uh, you know it is what it is there's a mic i'm not going to use it but i will uh, feature the microphone in my full review of this headset coming soon. Uh, there is a microphone mute button on the headset as well. If you press that, uh, as with most Razer headsets nowadays, the microphone like has an LED at the very end of it, which will turn red when the microphone is muted. And when you press it again, the LED will turn off. So pretty simple stuff there to know if your microphone is muted or not. Uh, Razer Synapse is still updating itself. Oh, apparently now it needs to restart. I'm gonna try to avoid doing that as I'm currently uploading a video. And oh my God, it's gonna take 44 minutes. No, I don't want to restart the PC. I just want to, you know, I just want things to work. Plug and play, you know? Synapse is on the Razer Nari Ultimate. It's right here, dude. Right, we got game chat balance. We got volume. I'm trying to adjust the volume on the actual headset, but it's not adjusting the volume in Windows. So, oh, it is recommended that to set all volume levels to maximum, then use the on headset controls. I see. The headset is currently changing colors and stuff. Sick. Let's go into lighting. Currently set to spectrum cycle. I'm going to probably set it to white as that's like a nice neutral color. Uh, I'm gonna tell you now, the LEDs are very, very dim, but that's not necessarily a problem, as uh, having those LED lights, you know, be lower brightness will preserve the precious battery life. Now, I don't know how the battery life is gonna be on this thing, given that it's, you know, Razer Hypersense, it has RGB and stuff. Uh, yeah, don't know about the battery life. Hopefully it's gonna be as good, if not slightly better than my previous pair of headphones, but uh, I'll let you know in the full review uh, in terms of power savings. Oh, th there is actually a power savings feature. Uh, you can turn this off or on. The device will turn off after, you know, X amount of minutes of inactivity. That's cool. There's a whole microphone tab. Finally, an EQ. This is what I like as I do like to mess around with, with my own EQ settings. We have sound normalization, bass boost, voice clarity, and haptic intensity. The whole uh, hypersense thing on this headset, right, awesome. Uh, it, it does also have a THX spatial audio. Damn, dude, sick. Now, I'm pretty sure this is virtual 7.1 surround sound, not like, you know, physical 7.1 surround. So bear that in mind. But without further ado, I'm, I'm gonna put these on, okay? I've got a, a song called OU by Rootkit, and I'm genuinely very, very curious to see how this is gonna feel like or sound like, I don't know. I've kind of got the uh, haptic intensity set to 40 and here we go i'm very excited for this it's very loud whoa whoa, whoa, whoa. where's the controls Ooh, very responsive i feel the bass <laughs> 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 
What? <laughs> okay, so that was interesting. Um, for this one song that I tried, <laughs> to describe what it feels like, um, I don't know. Imagine your entire headset vibrating. That's, that's how I would describe it, I guess. This was for one song. Uh, I bet it's pretty cool in gaming. Uh, so I'm gonna try a different song right now. Let's try, um, I've got a few downloaded from this artist. All right, I've got another track here from Monster Cat. I can feel the entire headset vibrating. This feels crazy. <laughs> that's so weird. Right, I'm gonna try to max out haptic intensity because it's currently set to 40%. I'm gonna set it to 100. Here we go. Like the whole headset's vibrating, but it's good. I like it. Oh my God, this is crazy. Setting it to 100%, wow. Like, I can feel the uh, like motor in there moving. That is insane. Genuinely, that is insane. I'm, I'm like mind blown right now. Now I wasn't entirely sure, you know, like how this would actually feel like, how this would work. Uh, would it be a good experience? Would it be something that like, you know, you really wouldn't want? But for music, at least for like, you know, that kind of music, I guess it's like drum, drum step or something, like electronic music basically. Like you can feel the bass, which is really cool. And the haptic feedback motors are creating the vibration, you know, in the actual ear cups here, they're very strong. When the bass hits, my vision like vibrates a little bit. Like everything becomes, you know, like a little bit fuzzy, I guess, you know, uh, cause like, Everything's vibrating, like your vision's vibrating when you wear these. It's really quite interesting. Alright, so it's the next day. I spent quite a few hours listening to music and stuff, watching YouTube videos, just consuming content, playing Battlefield 5 here. And uh, let me tell you, for music and for Battlefield 5, oh my lord, especially for Battlefield 5, it is like it is next level, it changes everything. Like, I wouldn't want to play Battlefield 5 without this technology, it's genuinely really cool. Uh, however, when it comes to watching YouTube videos, you know, and like, you know, consuming normal content on YouTube, I suppose, I turn the HyperSense thing off immediately. Like, a lot of the time, from what I found at least, uh, I just found it to be quite distracting and kind of annoying, uh, so I've turned the HyperSense thing off when I watch YouTube videos. However, gaming, music, it is awesome. Uh, I tried a bunch of different songs, they all uh, responded to it pretty well. There was only like a, I think a song or two that kind of behaved a little bit weirdly with the whole Hypersense thing, but uh, I'd say 8 or 9 times out of 10 uh, when listening to music, uh, the Hypersense technology definitely is, uh, is cool and it works really well. Anyway, I'm going to hop back into Battlefield. Uh, I've currently got everything maxed out, the volume is on 100%. The Hypersense is on 100%, everything's maxed out on this headset. And that's kind of the way I like it when I play games and listen to music, I guess. I, I like to just, you know, full volume, full blast, everything. So I'm gonna go on a team deathmatch right here. Like playing Battlefield 5 of these is, it's crazy, honestly. Now the only problem I found with the headset, I guess, is that it kind of really wants to fall backwards and off of your head. And to be honest, that is like the one and only problem I've had with it so far. And the battery life uh, sucks, absolutely sucks. Um, I think on the website it said eight hours. Uh, that's not good, but I feel like it's a whole lot less than eight hours. It drains very, very, very fast when you have the RGB lighting enabled. Uh, as well as the whole Hypersense technology. But you can use it in wired mode, so that is also an option. I don't like this map. <laughs> also, if there's like an explosion in front of you or someone shoots here, it's terrifying. Well, uh, that was fun. If you want to go add me on Origin, uh, my name is TechBlockM. 
uh, feel free to add me on there. But apart from that, everyone, that's going to pretty much be it for the Nari Ultimate, I guess, like unboxing video as well as first impressions. Battery life sucks. Very cool technology though. So far, so good. Loving the headset. Even though the battery life on this thing sucks, uh, I'd still say it's a really good headset. Uh, awesome technology in here, you know, HyperSense. It's real nice. And if you'd like to buy one of these headsets yourself, all the links you need are down below in the description. Uh, there's links to the Razer store as well as Amazon. So thank you everyone so much for watching this video and I hope to see you in another one soon. Goodbye.